You don't need to buy any Adobe programs or download anything from a sketchy website to convert your Word documents to a PDF file. All you need is these two features in Microsoft Word. I'm going to show you how to use them so that you can easily convert any Word document into a PDF file. I want to show you two ways that you can save your Word document as a PDF file, but why would you ever have to do that? Well, in this case, we're working on my resume and we want to make sure, I've got a little header at the top that you can see, and that's not going to translate well to different versions of Microsoft Word. Word on a Mac is a little bit different. Word on older versions of Word is a little bit different. So this might not translate well and it might be off-centered and look really horrible on someone else's computer. So you can fix that by saving this as a PDF, which is kind of more universally designed for different computers, different versions, things like that. So that's how we can make sure that this looks the same on someone else's computer by saving it as a PDF. I'm gonna show you the traditional way first. So the way that you would save this, probably the easiest way to do this would just be to go to the file tab. In this backstage view, we're gonna save this as, and then we'll choose somewhere on my computer to save this file. So we'll save it, I'll save it in my desktop and then I'll rename it as resume PDF just to make sure that I know this is the PDF version if I have to send it that way. And here's the magic where you can change this from a Word document to a PDF. Change the save as type. So click the arrow here and then you've got the PDF option. That's great right there. I'll click that. You've also got some more options like if you had a longer document you could print whatever the current page was if you only wanted to print one page. I want to print it all though. So I'm just going to say okay for everything but you've got some further options there and then click save. Now this is what the PDF version of my resume would look like. You can scroll down and it's nicely presented and it's gonna look the same on everyone's computer. The second way to do this and the newer way to do this would be to share it. So I'm basically gonna send this as an email to myself so I have it on my OneDrive account and that way even if something happens to my computer it's stored in the cloud which is nice so I've got a backup just in case anything goes wrong with my computer. So the way you do that is go to the top right corner of your Microsoft Word document and then click share. We're gonna share and then there's two options. Do we wanna share this as a Word document or a PDF? So we're gonna choose PDF. I'm gonna choose my OneDrive account at the top and then I'm gonna awkwardly send myself an email with my resume attached. And we've got a little bit of positive affirmations as well and then we'll click the send button and see if that worked. There it is in my email. So now we can either save it to our OneDrive or we can download it from here. So I'll save this to my OneDrive. That way I've got a version of my resume saved on my cloud. So if we go over to our OneDrive account, which is like these little dots here, go to OneDrive. Here's what it looks like in my OneDrive and we can scroll down. We've got the whole document saved in the cloud and that's another way to save your Word document as a PDF. Inserting page numbers in Microsoft Word can be difficult. That's why I've got these two videos to show you how to do that. I've got one just to show you how to insert normal page numbers and also how to insert page numbers if you were beginning from page three. Jump over there if you wanna see that. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.